Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I'm your host, Ianthea Smith, in the kitchen once again with Chef Ernest Knowles from Tasty Caribbean Delights. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, thank you. Good All right. Now, when I saw the menu, I was a bit confused. We're making fried dumpling and festival. Yeah. What's the difference? I thought they were the same. All right. The, the fried dumpling, you, uh, the festival has more ingredients than the fried dumpling. Okay. Because uh, the festival, you start off with the basics, the flour, the cornmeal, the butter, mm -hmm. but you have to add cinnamon, okay. nutmeg. Okay. You also use vanilla with coconut cream. Okay, so that's where that flavor yeah. comes from. Okay. So you, you mix the vanilla with the coconut cream and use the vanilla and the, the coconut cream to make the, the dough. Okay, so let's get to it. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna fry the festival and the dumpling in, in the same oil. Okay. So this uh, So this dumpling. one here is the dumpling. Yeah, it's already okay. pre-made and as you can see the festival is a bit darker mm -hmm. than the, the, the Because of the dumpling. cinnamon and the nutmeg and yeah. all of that. Okay. Of course before the show we had to knead everything together just yeah. in the interest of time. And so did you let these sit out for any amount of time to rise or anything yeah, about, like that? Say fifteen minutes. Okay. Everything should come and give it a nice blend. Okay. And so we're doing double duty here, guys. We're doing some fried dumpling and festival at the same time. Here we have the dumpling, fried dumplings. the dumplings, and then over there we have uh, the batter, I want to say. Yeah, the for, the, for, the, for the festival. <laughs> for the festival, okay. Yeah. And then I love festival because they're sweet, they're crunchy. Nice and sweet Nice and, and crunchy, soft. Right. I love them when they're like fresh out of the fryer because you know that it's still good and hot, so I love me some uh, festival. Do me a favor and turn the oil down a bit, please. Turn it down a little, okay. Yeah. So we want Both our seven. Okay, so we want our uh, pot on like a medium high. Right. Medium high, not you don't want too it hot. to burn the dumplings. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course Ernest is the chef over there at Tasty Caribbean Delights. Tasty Delight, Caribbean Delights. Where they make some amazing Caribbean food. They have a variety of foods, right? So what all oh. you got on your menu? Well, we have for the Jamaican dishes we have like um. Aki and codfish. Mm. We do like mutton, curry mutton, okay. ox steel, um, curry chicken, mm -hmm. boil. And we also have our rotisserie section mm -hmm. where that's a healthier choice. Okay. We also have Creole dishes. Nice. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a nice Caribbean restaurant. Mm -hmm. Caribbean feeling. And it's like no matter where you go in the world, you can find a restaurant that's selling Caribbean food. Yep. Like anywhere in the world, all throughout the US, all throughout Asia, even sometimes you have amazing Caribbean food. What do you think the draw is with our foods and our flair and our flavors? Man, we, we, got, we are different. Yeah. Very, 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 very different. Yeah. Um, also, at, at Tasty's Caribbean Delights, we do catering for anything. Okay. We do parties, weddings, funerals, so to say. <laughs> Everything you can think of, we are, we are there. Okay, awesome. Well, we, as you can see, he is rolling our festival yeah. a little differently than, than we the are. Fried the, right, the festival is usually this elongated shape. Right. The dumpling is going to be a little nice round, little round. disc. All right, so you guys, we are on a roll with our festival and fried dumpling. But later on in the show, you're going to see how we're going to make the Escobie schnapper. Ooh. Oh, yes. All right, we'll be right back. This is Chef It Up. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. We're having a Jamaican dish today. We're making escabiche snapper with our fried dumpling and some festival, of right. course. These are now frying down, and now we're gonna just jump straight into our fish. Yeah. So we're trying to get our snapper, nice size snapper seasoned. Yes, they need some good size snapper he yeah. has here. All right. And this is the must come to tasty seasoning. Can't must tell come it. to tasty Can't seasoning. Tell it, the secret I was just gonna ask you what's TV, in there. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let me see if I could guess. Some um, seasoned salt, um, black pepper, of course, salt, of course, probably. Um, is that thyme? <laughs> He's not telling me anything. But, anyways, this is the must come to tasty. Right. <laughs> it smells really good. I guess, right, with the seasoned salt. I guess, right, with the seasoned yeah. salt. Is but that bay leaf? Why am I not telling nothing else? You know? not tell me nothing else. <laughs> so, you want to make sure you, you get the seasoning all, right. all inside of the fish. Yes, I love a well-seasoned fish. Don't skimp me on my seasonings, yeah. you know, when you're making my fish. You know, behemoths love snapper. Yes. Well-seasoned, so mm -hmm. you got to get it. Right. Now tell us, what is escaviche? Well, escaviche is a sauce. Okay. It's a very spicy sauce, but it's also good in flavor. Okay. It's not just pepper. Okay, it's flavorful as well right. as spicy. Right. All right, and do we usually only use it with fish? 
most of the time, but Mostly. with any kind of fish. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be snapper. Okay, all right. So we're gonna be making some escovish a little bit later. Yeah. And these, oh, did you get these snapper recently? Because these look yeah, good Yeah, my nice and fresh snapper. Only fresh things we deal with are tasties. Good, tasty. good. As a matter of fact, speaking about tasties, we also having, we always having events at tasties, uh -huh. you know? And coming up is Mother's Day. Yes, yes. And Mother's Day, we have an all-inclusive event, you know? So if you love your mother, you bring her to tasties. <laughs> We have all include all you can eat, all yeah. you can drink. We have, nice. we, we are not only a takeout restaurant. We have our dining. dining as well. Yeah. Okay. What's your, so what's on the menu for Mother's Day? You know? Oh, you can't tell me yet. No. Oh, but, no secrets out but, of him today. But we have, we have good stuff. We always have good stuff yeah. down there. Tasties. I'm guarantee you, I will get some some Jamaican and Asian and BM and stuff. Nice. Down nice. there, tasties. So some fritters maybe, some festival hair, maybe mm -hmm. some grio, a little mix of all three. Yep. All some right. Some and stuff like that. Awesome. So our festival and our fried dumplings are still going there. Yeah, they're still going. The dumpling almost finished. Awesome. I to make sure they are them nice and soaked. So you're just making sure that they get a nice golden brown. Mm -hmm. What? How do we know when they're good and done? When they're nice and golden brown and uh -huh. everything floating on the top of the oil. Okay, okay. So we waiting for everything to just come up to the top. Yeah. All right, and over here we just uh, seasoned All our right. fish. What next? We're just gonna dip it in some flour, mm -hmm. put some seasoning in the flour also. Okay, I love when people season the flour. And they just dip the fish. Yeah, pardon, I don't want to mess up your... Let me yeah. get out of the way. <laughs> so all we did there, guys, is we took the snapper, um, seasoned it down really good, and then dipped it in some flour and yeah. tossed it right into the pan. Right. All right. You can just turn that down. Press it and then, uh-huh. <laughs> See if I can get in there a little. All right. Nothing more Bahamians like than to hear the sound with some fresh from fish in the pot. Awesome. What I like most about this dish is that we're running to this real quickly. It's like we're almost done, right? Yeah, man. It's Doesn't real fast, long, real hot. easy. You know, come home from work one day, go straight like to the kitchen. And you'll be done in what, maybe half hour, maybe? Maybe Ma 45 minutes, half max? Hour, nice. All right. What do you like most about this dish? Um, I like the spice of the escovish fish. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I like the fact that it's quick and easy. Yeah. So you have a little girlfriend coming over and you don't know what to cook. And then prepare some of that fast and quick. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise her with it. Really good. Yeah, and as you can see, the. the Festivals yes, already. Our festival. Oh yeah, they're just about done. Awesome. Let me get some. Yep. And so we can find this on the menu at Tasty? Yeah man, every day. Okay, good. Good. Awesome. So our festival is coming out. And again, just to remind you guys, there's a difference between the festival and the fried dumpling. Because of course, in the festival, we added and some cinnamon, some nutmeg. Right. The coconut and milk, the you coconut said? Cream coconut and, cream. And the vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you could always um, recognize it based on the shape. Uh-huh. Because uh, the festival is not round as a dumpling. Right, they're like a little elongated right. shape. Right. And so can we find you on Instagram, Facebook, your social, right? Yeah, Tasties, you can find Tasties at Tasties Caribbean Delight. That's the Facebook, and on Instagram, it's Tasties Caribbean. All right, I think I followed you guys today, so yeah. I'm good to go. All right, so and our... And our phone number <laughs> at Tasties is 341-5234. Um, awesome. 30, 30, not 34, 30. <laughs> 341 5230. Right. Okay. All right, you guys, our festival and fried dumpling just about done. Our fish over here frying down, of course. Just some Bahamian snapper. Yeah. We uh, tossed some spices and herbs on them. He wouldn't tell me what his uh, mix is, but you can kind of create your own mix as you go um, to season it down. Uh, put it in a little bit yeah, of flour man. and just fry them down. Like some regular mix, salt and, and pepper. Yeah. You know. Sometimes yes. salt and pepper only is like the perfect seasoning, you know. Yeah, man. Like sometimes that's really all you need to make something taste really, really good. Yeah, let me tell you something about um, escovite fish. Uh huh. You have, you have a place in Jamaica called um, Elsha Beach. Okay. It's, 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 a, it's a seaside 
food type of okay. food. So you know, you, you get up, you carry your family down by Elshar, Little Ochi, Negril and places like that. Uh -huh. You go on the seaside and you order that and trust me. Nice. The smell of the ocean and the taste of the food. Yes, and hair smells really soft. good right now. Yeah, man. Awesome. So how long have you been making this dish? Like, is this one of your favorite dishes to one make? One of my favorite dishes. Yeah? Yeah, man. I love to make escovish and nice. not just to taste how it looks because mm -hmm. of the color as you can see we have the pepper, the onion, the carrot, yeah, the soup. It's very colorful. Very, 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 Caribbean. very, very colorful. Mm -hmm. So what do you need? I like a turn around the fish. Okay. Yes, a good fry. I love it. Pot a little bit too small, but <laughs> the fish is a little bit too big. Yeah. <laughs> we got some big snapper in here. Awesome. Right. Yes. Is this like traditional Jamaican? Yes, it is. Traditionally Jamaican as well. Mm -hmm. Love it. And here smells so good, guys. Oh, it smells delicious. I can take them. Okay. <laughs> I can put them on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I promise not to eat until it's time to eat. All right, all right. All I'm right. Just, probably just to roll up a few more festivals. So, Some how do when do we get started on the excavation itself? Okay, that doesn't take much time. Okay. So let me just turn on that one right there. This one? How yeah. high? Right up. All the way up? Okay. So pot to the high. We're making some more festivals because I already told them that. I'm about to go in on the festival. <laughs> so good choice, Chef. Good yeah, choice. <laughs> so if you wanted to kind of, I guess, make alternates with this dish, what would you say we could swap the fish out with some other meat? What do you think would pair well then with the festival and the fried dumpling? Uh, <laughs> these two go hand in hand. Yeah, there's no, there's no other marry. No. no. Okay. These go hand in hand. Kind of like the fish and bread then. Yeah. Like that good Friday meal, the Jamaican so, version. With the with the um the escovish. Uh huh. Just wanna add this butter, okay. let it melt, so you can saute the herbs. Okay. All right, so. Let's give that a few seconds to, to melt. Perfect. And then we're add herbs. Okay. And so the, the, the uh, recipe for the escovish is kind of standard. You use the same recipes, the same ingredients. Yeah, you can add and take out as you want. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use olive oil, I mean the vinegar, vinegar uh -huh. you can use water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, our butter is starting to melt down here. This is so beautiful. Like, y'all don't even understand right now. This. This is like the best. This is like the bread baskets of all bread baskets. <laughs> all right. So do you teach? Do you teach people how to cook or do you just cook? I just cook. I, I ain't reach the teaching <laughs> stage of <yet>. No? <laughs> no. So we're going to add the onions. OK. So some sliced onions in here with our butter that we're melting down. All right. Some julienne right. sliced carrots. OK. Some carrots. The hair smells so good. Oh, goodness, I can't stop saying that. And these are some bell peppers. Okay, and some bell peppers. All right. All right, you guys, so we are getting everything prepared for our escovish. As you can see, our snap is frying down. We got some more festival going over there. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back, you guys. This kitchen is going. Now, we, before we went to the break, of course, we started everything for our escovish. And of course, in here, we just had some butter, some onion, some bell peppers. And during the break, we added some vinegar, vinegar a little bit sugar, of sugar, some seasoning, seasoning, and some of our special add, seasoning. Yeah. And just now, we added some, some thyme. thyme. And so we're just going to let all of this simmer down. This is beautiful. So the main ingredients for the escovish sauce. Pepper? That gold pepper. Okay, we got some gold pepper coming. Yeah, man. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Chef. In this Jamaica, is... we call this the Scotch bonnet. Yes. AKA burn them up because it's hot. <laughs> so, before I add that in, I'm just going to taste to make sure uh -huh. everything is nice and blended. So, just. How does that? You want to taste? Sure. Good. All right, and I love it. 
Oh, that sugar add. in there really, really helps to bring everything together. And then under. Oh boy, peppers. the spice. Right. What kind of peppers are we using? We're using gold pepper or scotch bonnet pepper. Ooh. You about to kill my mouth. No man, trust me. You're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be like a, a big party inside there. And look how beautiful this is, you guys. The oranges, the greens, the yellows. Yeah, man. A little bit of white in there. That's what I was trying to tell you. I Not love... just the taste and the flavor yeah. of this thing, but just, just how it looks. Yeah. This is a pretty it's dish. It's a very beautiful thing. Very beautiful. Let me get these fish before they fry of too course dry. Of course, our fish, yeah, I don't like my fish fried too, too dry. All right, so is this done? Yeah, man. And this is escovish? And that's escovish. How easy was that? How easy was Just that? Just a blend of herbs, pretty this much, and some pepper. This smells so good. I hope your kitchen smells as good as in here. Good, even better. <laughs> yes, hopefully you guys are cooking along with us. If not, take down the recipe. Please try it on your own time. You will not regret it. Sorry, I'm gonna tell them my secret ingredient, but... It's okay. <laughs> We'll figure out our own secret ingredient yeah. for the mix. I see why this is one of your favorite dishes to make. It's beautiful. Very it beautiful. It smells really good. It appeals to every sense. Awesome. Of course, the sense of taste. We'll be getting into that soon. Right, right, right. All right. So, let's go into plating. All right, I think we got some plate behind you right there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, just once again, let me just tell you what we have here. We have our festival with our fried dumpling. Here we have the escaviche. Over here we have some fried snapper. And now we're gonna put it all together. Right. All right. I cannot wait to taste this. So let me start. Let me just put the... More festival. <laughs> More festival than anything. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make sure it's straight with festival. Yes. One thing about food in Caribbean food, like we fry a lot of everything, but it kind of balances it out because we eat a lot of healthy stuff too, right? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. So you want you want to make sure. Uh huh. You put the the escovy sauce on the fish. Okay. It's soft. Ah. Let me tell you something about escovy sauce. It's in Jamaica. They make their escovy sauce and put it in a jar. Really? Yeah. You see, just like you see me scoop mm -hmm. the, the sauce and put it on the fish. Uh -huh. You just want one scoop of that. Wow. On your fish and the herbs. And that will knock your socks off, I tell you. Wow. This looks so good already. I'm not even going to ask you what to expect flavor-wise because I already know what's to come. And I think there's a drink that goes with this. Yep. That's okay. the apple tan. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wait, trust me. Put the knife and fork down. I like that. Use your hands. Even okay. though it's a little bit hot. It yeah. is a little bit hot. Give it a nice I'm cold. going in for the festival first, you guys. <laughs> my favorite. Let me get the drink mm. going. So sweet. That cinnamon. Amazing. I love it. I used to eat with my hand, but it's a little hot, so. Let me just go get a little piece of this fish here. And this is the apple tan. It's a Jamaican favorite rum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just gonna get it with some Coke, some Pepsi, Coke. One of those kind of soda you can drink with it with a splash of orange. That fish was fried to perfection. The pepper, the herbs, that sauce. Well, from down here. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. I see why you say you can't really substitute anything on this plate because it goes hand in hand. They marry so well together. This is like the fish and bread dish of all, yeah. you know? Kind of like a good Friday meal. As I, as I was telling you about the, the seaside, mm. all this could go on a, on a beach side mm -hmm. and get an escovite snapper. Yes, and as we approach summer, this is like the perfect dish, you know, to kind of make it home, probably take to the beach one yeah. day. There we go. Amazing. Okay, and what is this now? That's the apple tan. It's mixed with a bit of Coke soda and some orange juice. Mmm. This is nice. I hope it's not too strong. No, it's not. This right. is like a spice rum. Bam. Ah, this is really nice. I love it. Mmm. So tell us where we can find this dish again, where we can find you and Tasty. So you can find it at, at Tasty's Caribbean Delight. We are located on Fade Avenue North. We are cheap three buildings south from Rubis Gas Station. Our number is 341. 
5230. Okay. And as we say, we do a lot of catering. Mm -hmm. And you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Tasty's Caribbean. And Mother's Day. <laughs> Don't yes. forget Mother's Day. Don't now, forget Mother's, Mother's Day, Day guys. They're having it's an amazing, epic. So an amazing extravaganza. Yeah, come true. Bring your, your mommy, you know? <laughs> Because we, it's an all-inclusive day, so everything's gonna be available. Okay. So, and it's from six to ten. All right, you guys, check out Tasty on Faith Avenue. This dish is absolutely amazing. Chef Ernest, thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, man, it was my this pleasure. This has been Chef It Up. We'll see you guys next time.